So today's concept is uh, how to deal with uh, multiple dimensions and uh, multiple measures. First, let us go with uh, how to deal with uh, multiple dimensions. You can implement this multiple dimension concept in two ways. Uh, the first way is uh, nested dimension and the second way is uh, small multiples. First, let us go with uh, our tableau. Let me connect with our project data. Yes, see here I am having number of dimensions and here I am having number of measures. Yeah, what exactly we are having in our data source. In the previous session, we have seen how to create a basic visualization by taking single dimension and single measure. This is I called continent by sale report. Now, my task is changed. Now, my task is uh, I want to create a report uh, with uh, continent wise or uh, department wise sale, department wise sale in uh, each continent. In each continent. So here, in my task now, two dimensions are there. Continent is a dimension and department is a dimension and only one measure is there, that is sale. How to implement this task? How to implement this report? We are going to see now. So now, already I have taken continent by sale. This is a basic visualization as you know. Now, if I want to get a department by sale in each continent, take the department also. See here it will be yes. Now, where should I take? Here, along with the measure or along with the dimension. So, to take the new dimension, we are having two concepts here. That is nested dimension and small multiples. Generally, what do you mean by nest? Nest in the sense placing one thing over another thing is called as nested. Something like birds uh, uh, will create their own nest by placing the sticks one on, on the right. So same thing here also, you can go with one dimension over one dimension like this, then that is called as nested dimension. Right? So now nested dimension in the sense you have to take the new dimension at the already existing dimension. So now, see here already existing dimension is in the column, right? Now you have to take the new dimension at the column only. Now take the department into here only, right? Now see, I am getting a department by sale. So furniture department sale. Let me go with uh, click on ABC so that I will get the values. Yes. So furniture sale in Africa. Office supply sale in Africa, technology sale in Africa, and again furniture sale in Asia, office supply sale in Asia, technology sale in Asia. Like this, you are getting each and every department sale in a, each continent. So you have used uh, two dimensions here. Clear? And now I want to increase one more level. Sir, I want to get a category by sale, category by sale in each department, in each continent. See here now, I want to deal with three dimensions. Category is one dimension, department is one more dimension continent is one more dimension but only one measure is there that is sale. Now how to go with this task? How to create this report? Category by sale in each department in each continent. So here you can go with again nested dimension concept. Now take the new dimension, take it in the place of dimension only in the column only. Yes, see now, in Africa, in furniture department, yes, these all are the categories, they say. In Africa, office supply department, all these are the categories and these are the sales. In Africa, 
technology department uh, these all are the categories and their respective sales like this for each and every component you are getting department wise category wise sale clear so here like this uh, how many dimensions i can take in a single visualization yes there is a limit you are advised to go with uh, mostly 16 dimensions in a single visualization that is the limit of course you can go with more than 16 also but your visualization will be somewhat clumsy clumsy in the sense that it is not that much understandable see here when you take three dimensions only it is little bit uh, confusing to you yes or no when i am explaining you then you are getting clearly okay content wise department wise category wise say so as a technical person you are going to be, uh, you are going with this much of confusion client is a non technical guy he can't understand if you go with more than uh, so many dimensions that's why it is better to go with uh, around 3 or 4 dimensions only but the maximum limit is 16 dimensions that's it so this is about uh, nested dimension now let us go with uh, small multiples small multiples in the sense uh, your visualization will be divided into multiple parts small small multiple parts so how to create this visualization here also i want to go with the same task i want to show department wise sale for each continent for that one first i am going to create one basic visualization continent wise sale but i want to show continent wise department wise sale in a small multiple concept so in the nested dimension what you have taken you have taken the new dimension at the level of already existing dimension but now for the small multiples you have to take the new dimension at the level of existing measure got the difference multiple dimensions and uh, nested dimension in the sense you have to take the dimension at the level of already existing dimension but if you want to go with the small multiples you have to take the new measure at the level of a measure now observe carefully what is going to be happen see in each continent furniture sale office supply sale technology sale so here your visualization is divided into three parts as or no that's why it is called as a small multiples for observe carefully here you got uh, three sale axes but here you are having only one sale axis here you are having three sale axes for each department that's why it is called as small multiple that's why it is called as a nested dimension now each and every part is there now here furniture one part office supply one part technology is one part so each and every part this one is known as a pain this is known as a pain this is called as a pain p a n e and uh, the whole visualization the whole visualization is called as a table table contains a number of pages and each and every bar you are seeing now this is called as a cell this is called as a cell and the overall this thing is called as a table this everything is known as a table technically we call it as table 
generally we will call it as a sheet so table contains the number of panes and the pane contains the number of cells that may be a bar that may be a circle that may be a square that may be a shape whatever it may be each and everything is called as cell so cell pane table clear so like this you can implement our multiple dimensions concept right so is it clear about multiple dimensions right now let us go with how to implement multiple measures concept multiple measures concept in the sense uh, how to use uh, more than one measure in a single visualization so now i am taking one task here i want to show continent wise sales and uh, profits in a single visualization i want to create a report with the continent wise sales and profits how to go with the sales and profits so now for this one also i am going with a new sheet and uh, take the continent into columns take the sale into rows here this is basic visualization using one dimension one measure now i have to go with uh, one more measure that is profit where i have to take it here or here so now to implement this concept only we are having three types uh, individual axis blended axis and dual axis individual axis in the sense uh, placing new measure at the level of already existing measure simply it is also called as a nested measure nested measure so as we have taken in the nested dimension one dimension over on the dimension the same here also you have to take the new measure at the level of already existing measure so the name itself it is saying individual axis so already i told you one point that the tableau will create a header for the dimension and one axis for the measure so here if you go with one measure it will create one axis if you go with one more measure it will create one more axis for that one let us go with uh, here let me take uh, one more measure and as per our individual axis and nested measure i am taking new measure at the level of already existing measure yes see here if you observe carefully here for sale one axis is there for profit one axis is there continent wise profit here continent wise sale here for each and every measure you have taken in the visualization it is going to create its own axis that's why it is called as a individual axis if you take one more thing discount see here it is going with one more axis so here for each and every measure you are taking in the visualization it is going to create a its own axis and uh, in the individual axis i want to show one more point here i want to say one more point here that is a uh, mass cut if you observe carefully the mass cut uh, see here how many mass cuts are there one is for all and for sales one mass card is there for profit one more mass card is there for discount one more mass card is there totally four mass cards are there if i am removing this discount here now see for sale one is there for profit one is there for all one is there totally three mass cards are there so 
here i want to say one thing like uh, number of mascots in uh, number of mascots in individual axis equal to n plus 1 where n stands for number of measures and 1 is for all see if i am using two measures yes for two measures individually i am getting different different mascot and for all i am getting one totally three is there if you take three you will get four now what is the use of having a individual mascots and the overall mascots in the sense uh, if you want to make uh, some uh, color coding things to your visualization for whole visualization you can go with all suppose see if i am taking content into the color it is applying for both the axis why because you have taken that content into the all mascot suppose i don't want to take it in the all i want to take it in the sale take the content into color yes only sale axis only it is getting affected and now in the profit i want to get the color based on the profit value take the profit into color yes like this and uh, sale i don't want to get in the bar sale i want to get it in the circles make change here circle yes it is only it is changing and the profit i want to show in the bars go with profit yes already bar is there if you want to go with line yes you can go with line so like this you can change individually by using this mask or availability this is about individual axis clear and then let us go with the same task with the uh, another type of uh, multiple measures concept that is blended axis now also i want to get content by sale and profit only now i am taking content by sale this is basic visualization if i take profit here it will be individual axis but uh, i don't want to go with individual axis i want to go with the blended axis now blended axis in the sense blending means mixing right so blended axis in the sense uh, already for sale one axis is there now you have to take the new measure into the existing axis right so here take the new measure and drop it on the existing axis observing carefully see take the new measure don't take it here if you take it here it will be individual axis but i want to go here right now it is mixing sale and profit observe carefully yes see i am getting a content wise profit and sale and if you observe carefully here in the rows and columns you miss it that sale and profit in the place of sale and profit you are getting measure names and measure values so when you are combining the sale and profit now by combining the sale and profit there must be some unique field so sale plus profit will be in the measure name and the measure name values are containing the values of sale and profit so that's why the measure name heading is created here for profit and sale and uh, the axis is for the measure value see observe carefully here in the measure values you are getting sum of profit and sum of sale if you are taking one more thing shipping cost into blending yes you can take yes now in the measure values you are getting a sum of profit sum of sale and shipping cost also you are getting the shipping cost values also now here how many mascots are there only one mask card is there why because there is only one axis so how many measures you are taking you are taking all the measures into single axis only that's why there is only one mask card so here in the blended axis number of mask cards equal to only one only one why because uh, all the measures are uh, adding into the same axis that's why you will get only one axis that's why you will get only one mascot clear this is about a blended axis 
right and now let us implement the same task uh, in dual access i want to get component wise uh, uh, sale and profit only but uh, i want to use a dual access for that what i have to do first let us go with uh, continent wise sale yes this is a basic visualization and now if you take the new measure here it will be individual access no i don't want to get individual access if you take the profit here it will be blended access but i want to go with dual access dual access in the sense you can implement dual access in two ways let us go with the first way first create an individual access yes this is an individual access now see how many mascots i got okay totally three mascots i got why because two axes are there one for all and uh, to convert this one to dual axis click on the second measure you have taken in the visualization here you will get to dual axis observe carefully something is going to be happen now yes here you are having a dual axis see whenever you are going with dual axis automatically it is taking the circle chart that is default property don't worry about that thing anyway you can change that now i am going with a sale master now i want to see my sale in the bar yes and i want to show my profit in the circles so this type of visualization yes we are going to see this type of visualization in the cricket matches runs will be shown in the bars and wickets will be shown in the balls like this most of the times we are going to use this uh, blended sorry dual axis only right so and i don't want to see the profit uh, in a circles i want to show it in the bar line yes so sensex reports are showing like this only so there they are using this uh, dual axis concept right now let us see one more time how to make uh, this dual axis suppose like this i am having a basic visualization to create dual axis first you have to create an individual axis then uh, click over here go with the dual axis right now you can change that one profit i want to go with some line chart yes you can get like this see how many mascots i am having with three so in the dual axis the number of mascots equal to three and i told you there is one more way to implement to dual access that is a shortcut way take the continent take the sale yes this is basic visualization if you take profit here that will be individual access if you take profit here that will be blended access for dual access drag and drop the new measure at the opposite side of the existing measure or opposite side of existing axis here this is existing axis opposite side of existing axis in the sense here you have to drop yes see this side i am getting sale this side i am getting a profit so here only one axis is there it is acting as two sale one side and profit one side and here again you can change a sale into the bar chart and uh, profit into the circle or line whatever you can select here like this both are same that is traditional way first creating the individual axis and then make it uh, as a independent sorry dual axis or else you can drag a directly opposite side of the existing axis this is one more way to implement the dual axis clear now 
sir we have seen till now like uh, uh, how to implement multiple dimensions uh, and a single measure how to implement uh, multiple measures with a single dimension so now i don't want to go like this i want to go with uh, multiple dimensions and multiple measures in a single visualization for this one we are having the concept called as a combinational axis chart combinational axis chart so till now what we have done you have created a a report by taking number of dimensions and single measure or a single dimension number of measure now i want to go with the multiple dimensions and the multiple measures clear now how to go with it for this one i have to go with the creating a report with the number of dimensions and number of measures for this we will go with the uh, now let me write a task here i want to get a continent wise sale and uh, profit in uh, each so i want to see department wise sale department wise sale in each continent see here now i am going with the two dimensions and two measures how to go with this task for this one take the continent take the department also and uh, take the sale yes this is a continent wise department wise sale this is nested dimension now i want to go with the profit also now this is combination of a nested dimension and individual axis see in the africa continent in the furniture department this is profit and sale in asia in furniture department this is profit and sale this is combination of a individual axis and a nested dimension now no i don't want to take the profit here i want to take the profit here now vt is a combination of uh, nested dimensions and the blended axis see in africa in furniture department uh, profit and sale in africa in office supply department uh, profit and sale like this or else uh, you can take the sale opposite side of this one see here now you can go with uh, sorry profit we have to take right yes take the profit at the opposite side of this one now it is combination of uh, individual axis and uh, dual axis now you can select here for sale i want to show it in the bar chart and uh, profit i want to show in the circle chart like this now if you want to get uh, for each uh, continent if you want to get different color drag the continent into color yes so i want to make it change in the only sale then go with the uh, sale here continent into sale yes continent by sale report and uh, in the profit i want to go with uh, i want to get the color based on the profit value yes i am getting like this clear 
so this is uh, called combinational access chart dealing with multiple dimensions and uh, multiple measures in a single visualization clear so in this class we have covered so far how to deal with uh, multiple dimensions and how to deal with uh, multiple measures and how to deal with uh, combinational axis chart by using uh, number of dimensions and the number of measures clear and uh,